following video demonstrates how to import simple XYZ data, perhaps from GPS, into Enforce. We start by going to Coordinates, right-clicking and choosing Import. Here we can see the same logger files as before, but for our demonstration we will use CSV. I'll start by looking at the mounds file, which I already have open here. OK, so we have a code, an easting perhaps, a northing, and a height. So we need a way of telling Enforce what the numbers are in the various fields. This is accomplished using the filter XYZ file, which is found in the settings folder of Enforce. Various filters can be set up to read different file formats. Here in my file, filter 5 is set up to read CSV files. The title of CSV files can be changed at any time to anything you like, but what is important is the extension. Only one extension can exist in this file, so CSV can only occur once, otherwise Enforce will only take the first one it comes to. After that, type equals delimited tells Enforce that there is a character of some sort separating the numerical fields. In our circumstances it's a comma, hence the word CSV, comma, separated values. It can also be a space or a tab. The character equals 44 field tells Enforce that it's actually a comma or hexadecimal 44 separating the numbers. 32 would be a space, 09 is a tab. After that we have the number of fields for Enforce to read on each line. Fields equals 4 tells Enforce that there is a possible maximum of 4 fields. The first field contains the code, the second field contains the X, the 4 decimal places, then the Y and then the Z. To prove this, I go back to Enforce open the mounds. We can see that Enforce has read the file in and we can indeed see the code, no number, but also the easting, the northing and the height in their respective fields. To modify this process slightly so that we can perhaps import a number, this file here, mounds2, we can see that I've changed the file to include a number on each line. We can bring that into Enforce by making a simple change to the filter file. Now that we have five fields, we have to tell Enforce we have five fields. Insert a new field too. And then renumber the following fields. That's all we need to do for that. So I'll save it. Go back to Enforce. Import. CSV. Now I'll select the second file. And we can see now numbers in the number field. So that's importing simple GPS or XYZ data where we have code, number, easting, northing, and height. But what about the situation where we have dimensions of some sort, perhaps scale factors or radiuses? If I look at a third example here, a file called a state, we can see that we have lots of commas on the ends. This leaves space for possible values as and when they're needed. If I come down, we can see a code TR, perhaps for a tree. Then after the code, the number, and the position, we have an R equals 0.5 and an S equals 10, i.e. radius equals 0.5 and scale equals 10. If we bring this into Enforce now, Enforce will only extract the coordinates and admit the dimensions. So you must tell Enforce that the dimensions are there. So we first of all increase the field count say 7, and I'll add a sixth field, and we can just say it equals some information, and so the same for field 7. Because we have an R equals and an S equals, Enforce will automatically spot that and attach that to the code without any additional help. Save that, go to coordinates, import, Pick the estate file, and hopefully, if we look towards the bottom, we can indeed see the dimensions on the points as we would expect them. However, not all loggers will output the R or the S or the identifier for the attribute. In that circumstance, the information may look a bit like this. We remove the R and remove the S. Enforce will then have no idea how to behave, and it'll just say I1 equals 0.5 and I2 equals 10. In that situation, you need to tell Enforce what the attribute identifier is for the various fields. So I've removed the R equals and the S equals. 
I must also change field 6 and field 7 to say diamen, comma, and then the name of the attribute. Our, our sixth one is a radius, and our seventh is a scale. Save that. Bring it into Enforce. Enforce renames the file we've loaded to have a bracket one on the end so we don't confuse it. And if I scroll down towards the bottom, we can indeed see the R equals and the S equals, as you would expect. The final change we're going to make is to include a remark on some of these points. If I go back to the states file, I scroll to the top, I insert another comma, i.e. another field, and just say remark test. Now that I've added the remark, I've got to make sure the filter XYZ file is set up to read it. So I'll add a new field, field 8, equals remark. Change the number of fields to 8. Save that. Also save the estate. Go back into Enforce, Import. Change it to CSV again. Bring the file in. Now we have estate 2. And as we can see in the remarks field, we have the remark test. And if I scroll down towards the other dimensions, we can indeed still see them there. And this concludes importing XYZ data into Enforce.